It was on section 9.1, measuring length, the metric system. It is also on the English system. We will be doing conversions within the metric system. We will do conversions within the English system, and we will convert between these two systems. So we're down here, we're asked to convert seven feet to inches. Now, since we are converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we will multiply. Now, what will we multiply by? It's all in this chart right here. The chart tells you what the conversions are. And you probably know that there are 12 inches in one foot, so that if we want to convert this, we need to multiply this by 12. And that gives us 84 inches. So 7 feet contains 84 inches. Now, that was going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. We wanted to multiply. If you're going to convert from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you would divide. Now, that's one way to do conversions. That's probably the way you learned back in the old days. Now, there's another way to do conversions, and that is this thing called dimensional analysis. And that's what most of this video is going to be about. So to convert a measurement to a different unit, whether it's metric or it's English, you will multiply by a unit fraction. Now, what a unit fraction is, let me jump down here. A unit fraction is a fraction that has the conversion factors together in a fraction. 12 inches is one foot. Now, 12 inches over one foot is the same as one foot over 12 inches. I will use one or the other if I'm going to do this seven feet to inches. The unit fraction uses this conversion information, but it puts it in a fraction, and you'll see why we use the fraction in a second. The given unit of a measurement should appear in the denominator of the unit fraction so that this unit cancels. So let me just do this problem before I go back to the definition before you get lost here. So we want to convert 7 feet to inches. So I put 7 feet, and I put it over 1, and I'm going to multiply this by a particular unit fraction, one or the other of these, because 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. I need to do the one that puts feet on the bottom here because I want to have feet cancel out. And if the feet cancel out, I will be left with inches, which is what I want. So I need to look at this unit and say, all right, this is the one right here. One foot has 12 inches in it. Then we're going to have the feet cancel out. We will just be left with inches, which is what we want. And then we do this arithmetic. 7 times 12 is 84. So going back to this, you set up the unit fraction by doing this. The given unit of measurement should appear in the denominator. See, the given unit of measurement, we were given feet, it appears in the denominator because we want that to cancel out. The unit of measurement that needs to be introduced should appear in the numerator. See, we wanted our answer to be in inches, so that's what was in the numerator. So let's do a couple more of these. Convert 40 inches to feet. Now, pay attention on Math Excel about how they want their answers done. Sometimes they ask you to give it as a mixed number. Sometimes they ask you to give it as a decimal rounded to tenths place, hundredths place. So read the fine print there. So convert 40 inches to feet. So 40 inches over 1. I need to make a unit fraction, and I need the word inch to be on the bottom. Do you know what the relationship is between inches and feet? Well, we just did one like this a second ago. We need feet to be on top. We need inches to be on the bottom. One foot has 12 inches. So if I just multiply that, what's going to happen is the inches are going to cancel, and I will have this 40 over 12 feet. And the reason I'm leaving it as a fraction for a second is because the directions told me to leave it as a mixed number. So I can reduce this fraction by 4, and it gives me 10 thirds, which as a mixed number is 3 and a third. Now if you're using a calculator, there are calculators that will do the fraction for you and reduce it and give it to you as a mixed number. So convert 9 inches to yards. So 9 inches over 1. I want to get rid of the word inch, and I want to end up with the word yard. Now do you know how many inches are in a yard? We'll look back at the chart here. There are 36 inches in one yard. So it's one yard is 36 inches. Now, be careful with, that you put the numbers where they go. It is 36 inches in one yard. That's why the 36 is with the inches. When you multiply, cancel that inch. And we have 9 over 36, which, if they ask you for a fraction answer, reduces to 1 fourth of a yard. 
if they ask you for a decimal answer, it's 0.25 of a yard. So again, read the fine print. Convert 13,200 feet to miles. 13,200 over 1 feet. I need feet to disappear so it goes on the bottom. I want miles to remain so it stays on the top. Do you know what the relationship is between miles and feet? If you don't, then we can look back in the chart, but one mile is 5,280 feet. So when you multiply, the word feet disappears. You'll be left with miles, which is the unit you are asked to have. And then we just have to do this arithmetic. Divide this out, and we get 2.5 miles. So 13,200 feet is equal to 2.5 miles. Now, if you want to change units within the metric system, it's a whole lot easier. Changing units within the metric system is a matter of moving the decimal point the prescribed number of places. If you want to change from a larger unit to a smaller unit, like meters is a bigger unit than centimeters. Centimeters is pretty small. Meters is about equal to a yard. If you want to change from meters to a centimeter, you're going to move the decimal point two places to the right. So you start at meters and you land at centimeters. If by some chance you want to change meters back to kilometers, you're going to have to move that decimal three places to the left. So you, you move the decimal, the prescribed number of places, that will get you to land on the new word. Now, let me erase these things here and come down to here. This is something somebody made up years ago to help you remember this. This is King Henry died Monday drinking chocolate milk, if that'll help you memorize that relationship there. So King Henry died Monday drinking chocolate milk. So convert 53 meters, so I have 53 meters, and I want it to equal something millimeters. So from meters to get to millimeters, meters is right here, to get to millimeters I'm going to move one, two, three. So I'm going to move three places to the right. So I take this decimal that's sitting right here and move it one, two, three. And each of those little waves, we need to put zeros, and that's 53,000. So 53 meters is equal to 53,000 millimeters. Now let's convert 60.4 centimeters to hectometers. And hectometers is right here, HM. So to go from centimeters, which is right here, back to hectometers, it's one, two, three, four places. We're going to go four places to the left. So grab hold of here. One, two, three, four. That's where the decimal is going to go. In each of these little waves, we're going to have to add zeros. So this is 0 0.00604 hectometers. And do not round this off unless MathXL tells you. If they had said, let's say, round to the thousandth place, this would be 0 0.006. But they didn't say round, so you use every digit that you have. Now, we also want to convert between English and metric equivalent. So convert 8 feet to centimeters. So same thing I did, 8 feet over 1. I'm going to multiply that by a unit fraction that needs to have the word feet in the bottom. And I look up here and see if there's any relationship between feet and centimeters. And there is. It's right there. So I'm going to have one foot is equal to 30.48 centimeters. The word foot will disappear. I will end up with the word centimeter because that's the only word left. And all I have to do is multiply 8 times 30.48 and it's 243.84 centimeters. So as long as you have the conversion numbers in front of you, you should be able to come up with the conversion factor here. I want to do 20 meters, and we want to get it into yards. So we want meters to disappear, we want yards to appear, and we need to look at our chart up here. Do we have one that converts meters and yards? Yep, right there. One yard is equal to 0.9 meters. So we will cancel out the meter, and we have to do this arithmetic. 20 times 1, 
which is just 20, divided by 0.9. You can enter that on the calculator and you get 22.22 yards. So that would be as if MathXL asked me to round to the hundredths place. They will also ask you to name what the most appropriate unit to use is, and this may be harder for you guys that are not familiar with the metric system, but just look at it this way. MM is small, that's millimeter, very tiny. Meter is in the middle, and a meter is about equal to a yard, and kilometer is big. So in order, it goes small, medium, large, if you want to think about it that way. So the length of the football field would be best given in millimeters? No. Kilometer, way too big, meters. The distance from New York to DC would be kilometer, and the width of a human foot is millimeters. So there's a couple of those that are pretty easy to identify.